Sydney coach John Longmire said the Swans had to stop Nick Revolt and Stephen Milne to have a good chance of getting past St Kilda. Adam Good said the Saints would have a burning in their stomachs following the 15-point loss to the Swans in round 22. David Armitage returned from suspension to play his 50th game at the expense of Michael Gardner. Sam Reid was recalled after missing his only match of the season against Brisbane last week, while defender Lewis Roberts-Thompson was fit after a calf injury. Revolt showed good hands as both teams were contained by effective defences. Saints fans were hoping he brought his kicking boots. He never betrays any emotion, but those misses must cut into him. Accuracy with the boot hard to find midway through the opening quarter. The miss to Revolt and that miss there to Kieran Jack. Milne, the man to score the opening goal for the 11th time this season. The Saints break the drought. Shane Mumford responded for the Swans five minutes later before Goods picked up the pieces when the Saints had a heavy presence. And Goods at the back will run in and ram it through for their second in half a minute. Ryan O'Keefe made it three straight for Sydney early in the second quarter. St Kilda fans hopeful of things to spin their way before O'Keefe made another big play. One's gone, I went way too early, no free. In fact, if it was, it was Sydney's. O'Keefe didn't rush, waited till Goods came. And what a man to give it to. And the Swans are out by three goals. Goods went agonisingly close to scoring another. Ref Clark brave, collision though brought him undone. It's going to be goal, the head pass, missing goal. Oh. A poster. Oh. Teenager Reed showed the strength of youth and then played peekaboo with his shot at the sticks. He's hooked it. Oh, it's straightened. It's home. Brendan Goddard ended Sydney's five goal run to trim the margin to 20 points. O'Keefe gave the Swans reason to shout. And continue the joy for the St Kilda, for the uh, Sydney fans. He's launched a beauty. Adam Schneider converted a 50 metre free kick into a six pointer for the Saints before number 23 Justin Kaczynski didn't enter the arena correctly and O'Keefe made them pay. And boy that hurts, you can feel the pain of the Saints. At half time, Sydney 7-6-48, St Kilda 3-4-22. Raphael Clark's one handed offload was a no-no and Matt Spanger booted the Swans first of the second half before the Saints had the answer from their high profile star. How can he kick one with the snap? Yes, he can. A couple of minutes later, Kozitski was looking for atonement. And there is some belief still ticking away. Schneider kept the Saints surge going. It's back to 16 and she's on again here at Etihad. Milne's twist and turn clever. His vision complete. Oh, clever little kick. And Brendan Goddard is just the man to have the football. From 45, he has the Saints back within nine points. Daniel Hanabury left the field with a dislocated shoulder as the Swans' lead shrunk to eight points at the final change. Ben McGlynn ended Sydney's 33-minute goal-scoring drought. He's got a goal sense about him and shows it! It shows his joy! Banner headlines for St Kilda began fading after O'Keefe and McGlynn landed two in two minutes. And Ben McGlynn curls it home exquisitely. Mumford's brute strength supreme and he had more to boot. With the sniff of blood in the nostrils and the blood brothers keep coming. The Saints first defeat on a Saturday night for eight years. Four goals from O'Keefe who's thrilled to see the Swans take on Hawthorne next week. Yeah, look, I think that was a bit of a turning point for our season. Uh, we had a good hard look at ourselves and to the boys' credit, we bounced back from there and uh, we've been playing some, uh, some reasonable football. Full-time Sydney 12-10-82, St Kilda 8-9-57. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.